Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to connect a school server database uh, which is running on Microsoft Azure to your, your client machine or your server. So in last video, last two videos we have created one SQL server which is PZ this server basically and we have created one database on this server so if you go here on database you can see the get the Microsoft database tools so here you can see the things connect to servers and you can see the down you can see here like get uh, get Microsoft database management tools which allow you to connect with uh, a database a SQL database so if you click here get you you can see the download SQL server management studio SSMS so we have a latest two version of SQL server database so database management client and I have downloaded both the client on my server here this server is basically a virtual machine which is running on Microsoft Azure so I have downloaded the both the version here you can see the SQL Server Management Studio 16.5.1 and 17.0 RC1 you can see here so I have downloaded this and I'm going to install this uh, management studio on my client machine and then I, uh, I want to connect this by using the server name only so let's do the installation for management studio so I'm going to install the 16.5.1 double click on it so it will take some time because the exe file is around uh, 900 MB so it will take some time So we have to make a make the note of this server which is required after installation of tool to connect with. So if you go to task manager you can see here it is a school server management studio. Uh, installation is not initiated so it will take some time and here you can see uh, open file a security warning so click yes I want to open file because I want to do the installation by using this file so good and now you can see the Microsoft management studio is installation is released so we have released 16.5.1 Microsoft SQL Server management studio welcome and click install so this is very simple installation nothing very fancy just click install and it will take the all the tasks together and will do the installation so there was like you can see minimum min interface required for the user just we need to click the install that's all so loading package it will take some time so back to your Azure and if you go to dashboard we have to make the node of like the server name and account by which we can log in if you want to check the login name you can go to server and on server you can see the server name here so administrator login here so go here and note the both thing like account name and the server name so if you want to see the database go to database and here address build you can see the server name so if you want to share uh, want any client to access this uh, database which is running on server so you have to share the uh, server name 
and the SQL Server uh, database name which you want to provide the access for user and definitely for the like the password for this user account so let's see what what was the the process and installation so uh, installation is still running just wait for a few seconds to get this done so it will take approximately 5 minutes and it's depend on the uh, speed of your machine so my machine is like you can see here it's 7 GB RAM and with uh, still the installation is going on I want to add one more thing here I want allow this machine this machine basically this public IP address on my SQL server so just go to SQL server and here you can see the on the configuration we have test machine I don't want to which we have added in our last video so remove it and here you can see like add the server name ADM VM01 and the IP address which needs to be copied from here like uh, 5276 it's 52.176 that one four five dot six one so the end IP address is the same I don't want to allow this access for range any IP address range so this is my server, uh, server name and the public IP address of my machine and also if you have uh, access with the uh, private IP you can define the private IPs as well as so click on save so now we have access to this server by using these two machines so good to know click here and here you can see the installation is still running just wait for a few more seconds so here you can see the installation for uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is uh, completed and installation is successful you can close it and now I'm going to click on the start and here you can see 14 new app installed so click on it and you have your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio new click on it so first time it will take some time to power on so just wait for a few seconds and we have uh, the SQL server is launched successfully and we have to put here server name and a server name I have copied the server name here so just copy and go to server and paste it and on the authentication you have to do select SQL server authentication and then you have to select the name by which you can log in ADM SQL Server 01 so I'm going to put it and my password for this account and you can click on connect so seems everything good here So just check the information whatever we have put it is correct so the first thing you need to go to check the user account and IP address and all the thing you can go on configure go to dashboard and here you can see the server name
so try to copy one more time this the server name server name and put it here and need to check the user id so on a dashboard you can see the go to server and here you, you have the user id name administrator login sql admin adm sql server 01 and i think we could to reset the password i want to okay and now go to here and i'm putting my password once again and now we you can see i have logged in successfully so there was a problem with uh, i suppose there was a problem with uh credential so i just re uh, reset my administrator password for login so we have successfully logged in to our server which is on microsoft azure you can see so and now if uh, as i have logged in with my sql server administrator account you can create the new database from here also so i am going to create one database on my my sql server which is running on on microsoft azure from here only so i am going to type the database name here so it will take some time to give you the screen so here we are just put this new server new database name so i'm going to put adm sql db02 and click on ok button so you can see the it's executing the task and it's going to deploy the con this database on the server and by connection ADM SQL server 01 so also you can if you go here you can see only one database here for now and it will give you the second database in few minutes so you can see the task is successfully sent and we have database here ADM SQL Serve SQL DB02 but still you you are not be able to find here because it's deploying yet it's not deployed yet so go to here SQL Server so it, it will take some time to reflect here so just reload this frame so now you can see the select uh, second database is also deployed here ADM SQL Server DB02 so on the server also you can verify the same so this is all about the connecting database from uh, which is running on Microsoft SQL and creating the database as well as from the server itself so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye